Welcome back. Today we are going to do flank steak. Um, so basically what I did, I dry rubbed this flank steak and <clears throat> I always like trying to let my meat sit overnight before I grill them. <clears throat> so I so just to kind of talk about the dry rub, I use a little Montreal steak seasoning, garlic, a little brown sugar, a little salt, dry rubbed it on, put it, put it, then put a little olive oil in there. So I try to wrap it overnight in plastic. So what I did, I wrapped this overnight plastic on a tray, just kind of leave it in your walk-in, in your refrigerator. Most of us don't have walk-ins at home. And then we just kind of do it that way. Now, this is a whole flank steak, but today I'm gonna to do it two ways, just in case you don't have a grill at home or you can't get to a grill or it's too cold to go out on the grill. Uh, I have a cast iron skillet. And uh, that's probably one of the better ways of cooking is using cast iron skillet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut this in half and I'll do part of it in the cast iron skillet and the rest of it I'll do <coughs> on the grill. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get that. First thing we're gonna do on the grill here, so we're just gonna find our little hot spot right here. We're gonna, remember, always put your, make sure your grill is hot when you put it on. We're gonna set that on there, let that sit, get some nice grill marks, and then we'll move it off that hot spot. We're gonna to try to cook this like to uh, rare or to medium rare, because remember, if we're gonna use this for our meal prep, and we can use this type of meat for our meal prep because it's not fatty, really lean. Uh, we're gonna kind of cook it to like a rare, or medium rare, so when we heat it up, it's like a perfect temperature. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit right there. We're gonna move on to our other pan. We have a cast, this is our cast iron skillet, again, you know, if you got a cast iron skillet, the key is let it get hot. Make sure you have your hoods on when you when you do that because you're gonna get a little smoke from it. So cast iron skillet, we're gonna do the same thing here. We got a little hot. We want it to have that sear, so you wanna get that sear on the outside. So you can basically, if you wanna sear it on both sides, and then you can take this and finish it in the oven, you can take this whole pan, which is so great about the cast iron skillets, you can take the whole pan and set it in your oven with the steak in it. So we're gonna do that. So you hear that sear when we first turn that in there. That's what we want. We want to hear that sear. And because of what there we have marinated in with the, the garlic and the brown sugar, you're gonna get that caramelization that we're looking for in that pan. So the key is let it sit. Alright? So we'll let that sit maybe six or seven minutes on each side, flip it over, and we'll probably finish this in the oven. Okay, so we're gonna flip this over, we're gonna let that sit. Again, seven or eight minutes on one side. We're gonna flip this over on this side. All right, so we're gonna let that sit on our grill. Then we're gonna take it off that hot spot and move it on so we can finish cooking on there. Over here, open our pan. Again, we got the nice caramelization on the outside of that. We're gonna flip that over a couple minutes on there and then we're gonna finish this one in the oven, okay? Let that sit. You can see we got the dark spot. That's all from the brown sugar, where the caramelization is on there. That's kind of what we're looking for when we do that. So that's the key is keeping your pan hot. Make sure your pan stays hot. It's gonna cool off once you hit that, that, that spot in there. So when you get that first sear, you make sure that pan is extremely hot when you do that. Okay, so we took our cast iron skillet. We put the whole thing in the oven. So that's pretty much, we want it like, we probably like, rare so we're gonna let this one always let your meats rest all right before you cut them so again we had took this one off the grill we've let that rest for a couple of minutes now the key to the flank steak is how you cut it all right because you cut this straight down it's going to be tough as nails all right so what you want to do you make sure you cut this on a bias all right kind of on an angle all right that's your key for flank steak. All right, and again, you know, it depends on you, how rare you want it to be. You know, this one's a little rare here, but this is what we're looking for. So you don't want your slices really big. You want your slices nice on an angle and thin, all right? Because if you cut this straight down, you'll have nice, uh, you'll have tough meat. So we don't want to do that. We spend a lot of money with this. So again, we can 
can slice these down, let your meat rest a little bit so all the juices go back into it. If you take this meat out and just cut it, you're gonna lose all your, your juices and it'll dry out really quick. So we could take that, we could, we could weigh this meat out if you have to do three ounces for your meal prep, take some of our Asian slaw and add it onto our plate. And again, we'll have a nice meal. So that's our flight steak presentation. Please come back and join us. We look forward to hearing from you. Um, we will get, get your comments and we'll put them back on. So we'll talk to you soon. Always be humble.